All right. Okay, so recently in the past couple days, there has been a lot of talk on social media about this chin spoiler. I guess a new company started it or something, but the trend has been going on, but there has not been a lot of New Edge users who have actually put it on. I've only seen them on the 0304 Cobra bumper and the 99 through 01 Cobra bumper, and I say it looks 10 times better on the 99 through 01 Cobra bumper. I have yet to see it on an OEM 99 through 04 GT V6 front bumper, and I figured if anybody's gonna do it, it's gonna be this guy right here. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have inside. Oh, okay. Right off the bat, we have the chin spoiler. Oh man, and just right out the box, it does feel different, like really different compared to the 0304 Mach 1 chin spoiler. I don't even know how to describe it. It almost feels like when someone 3D prints something and that like that feeling that you get over that item, it almost feels like this, not plastic, not rubber. It's just kind of like, almost like that 3D printed kind of thing. I don't know how to describe it. But the thing that's so different about this chin spoiler that everybody has been raving about is the fact that this chin spoiler has two layers. So it has this layer and then it has the bottom actual chin spoiler, which kind of makes your car look a little bit lower. And it almost looks like that Cobra R front bumper, kind of. And here's my current Mach 1 chin spoiler. And as you can see, it is very faded. Uh, there's a little dent right here from being too low and hitting speed bumps and stuff like that. I mean, it could use a replacement. So hopefully this will look good enough to stay on there for a very long time. I also went ahead and put the front wheels on some wood blocks just so I have a little bit more room to go underneath. I didn't really feel like putting the Mach 1 up on jack stands and in order to remove the OEM chin spoiler, there's a few nuts and bolts that you have to go through. Not that big of a process. Mother! So easy, but those little bolts or whatever you want to call it, there's a special tool that you use to take them off. But I don't have that tool, so I kind of have to like play it out. And man. And I'm not even going to lie, without the chin spoiler, it looks weird. It looks like a turtle without its shell. One thing that I am loving about this chin spoiler is the material. And I know it said it kind of feels like 3D printed material, and it totally does. But the thing about this material is that it doesn't seem like that type to fade over time. I know with the Mach 1 chin spoiler, everyone goes through it, everyone sees it. The crusty faded black phase, and it doesn't look good at all. But with this one, I feel like it'll hold up, it's durable, and it won't fade over time, which is super awesome. Let go. Woo! Boy! What's that? Check out that fitment. Check out that fitment. Okay, now we have like 12 more to do. <laughs> What are you doing? Come on. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Okay. And it took a little bit of modification, but with the help of my sister, I was finally able to put it on. And what do I think about it? It looks different. I think I like it. I think I like it so far. So we did have to screw in some holes into the bumper, which is not too bad. And I think the screws will hold out just fine. Like if you hit a speed bump, I don't think it's really gonna go anywhere. As you can see, I'm putting a little bit of force and it's really not gonna go anywhere. And it's not perfect. The fitment is not perfect. All right, so if you kind of look around here, you can see that we have a little gap, but it's not really noticeable unless you look up real close. If you look over here, both sides are very flush to the front bumper. So you don't have to worry about the Mach 1 chin spoiler, how it kind of ends up right here. This is completely flush, which I like. Other than that, I mean, there's really nothing else to do. It's a chin spoiler. It's a very simple installation. But enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and take the Mach 1 out into daylight and see how it looks. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to go ahead and take a look at the chin spoiler. I have not seen it since I've been in the garage. So this is my real reaction to it. All right, and... Bam! Dang! 
I think it's a little bit too black for the Mach 1. But man, I'm not even gonna lie, that looks sick. Let's do a little bit of a walk around so you can really see how it looks. From the front, I don't know. I don't know, I think I might have lied when I said that it doesn't look like the type of material to fade because it definitely looks like it could be cleaned up just a little bit, just to be a little bit blacker. If you can see, this part is a little bit more black than this part. This part's a little bit faded. I don't know why, but overall, I kind of like it. It definitely gives off a different look that not a lot of new edges have. And man, that actually looks really good. I'm kind of impressed right now. All right, so I want you to give me your honest reaction on the transporter that we installed earlier. Wow, you're a terrible parker. No, that's the point because the sunlight's hit it. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, give me, give me your honest opinion on the transporter. You think it looks the same? It reminds me of like those people who have like the really prominent chin. Yeah, because it looks it looks uh, masculine, right? That's what you're trying to say. No, I've seen ladies like that. <laughs> okay, starting to look at it more. I think it looks super good, despite what my peasant sister says. <laughs> I think it looks super good. All right, so for 50 to 60 bucks, I highly recommend it. The installation wasn't too bad, and it definitely gives your 99 304 Mustang a unique look, especially if you're on the stock front bumper. It makes your car look a little bit lowered, and it kind of sits flush with the wheels. I think it looks super awesome, and I highly recommend it if you haven't already. And of course, I'll link everything in the description below. But anyways, guys, this is where I'm going to go ahead and end video. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and share with your friends but anyways guys i'll see you guys on the next episode peace